Kristen Wiig yes. used to do an impression of you on Saturday Night Live. Yes, Talk about five that or six a times. Greatest honor in my life. You have to remember that John Belushi, who I lived with in college, went on to become a very famous cast member of Saturday Night Live. So Saturday Night Live was something that I watched to watch my friend. And it was in my fabric. And, and there would be no higher honor than somebody mocking you on Saturday Night Live. Once you're at that point where you're on Saturday Night Live, and not just once, but five or six times as a mock, you have made it into the culture of America. You are an icon. And they don't tell you when you're going to be on Saturday Night Live. And the only inclination that we had is they called the Susie Orman Show asking for our music. So it's when are they going to show it? So every weekend now we're watching. And I'm on the West Coast. Amy Feller, my EP's on the East Coast. That's the night we're on. And she calls me up and I'm listening to it on the phone with her. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And then obviously I wait to see it myself. And I really thought that would be the last time. The first time would be the last time. But now <clears throat> I'm at, I'm been nominated as one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time Magazine. And I'm there with, Lor with Lauren um, Michael, what's his Lauren name? Michaels. Lauren Michaels, right? And all the cast members are there and it turns out they're going to do me again. He said, you know, we're doing you this weekend. I said, you're what? He said, why don't you come and see it and sit in my seat? I went, you're doing me again? He said, oh, yes. Now, Kristen Wiig is there. And Kristen is afraid to see me because did I like it? Did I not like it? So they did a thing about my tan or whatever it was that she had said. I don't even remember. And I had this gold outfit on that was a wrap. So it was easy to open. So I went up to her. She was in a corner. I said, Kristen, I'm Susie Orman. She, and she's a little shy. I said, I just want to tell you something. You know that thing that you did about my tan, a spray tan or whatever? I just want to show you. It's real. And with that, because my back is to everybody, I open up my entire thing and show her my chest. And she's like, I go, there, now you know. And then I said, I loved it. Loved it. And when we were in the audience that night, a week later, that coming weekend or next weekend, I think it made her nervous that I was there. But everybody was watching me watch me. And so it was a little odd, but again, greatest honor of my life.